easy way we can all make a difference this year is to reconsider using classic wrapping paper for our gifts. So Christian Dare is here with some of his favorite eco-friendly alternatives, and they're all amazing. Christian, I love this. Okay, so we're going to start with the traditional uh, brown craft paper, which a lot of people can get like in a very big, you can get a yeah. very big roll of it. Yeah. Um, and why is craft paper a good eco choice? So one of the great things about craft paper is it's recyclable. Yeah. I think a lot of people don't realize most of your wrapping paper, because it has metallics in it, mm. it has paper, uh, sorry, plastic plastic in it, mm -hmm. it's not recyclable. And they actually say some of the really inexpensive thin paper mm -hmm. has so little paper value to it yeah. that it will never be recycled. That's like there's terrible. so little paper in it, it's like useless. But good to know, that's good to know. So go with something like this yeah. and you're going to be able to, to put it in the recycling uh, bin, no problem. For this DIY, you will need these items. And we are gonna do your first look with the craft paper. Yeah, so which our is... first look is this custom stamped paper. It's beautiful. Really easy to do, a great project with your kids, and it's eco-friendly. Okay. So the trick to this is lint rollers. Oh my gosh, and you're so fresh and so clean, you don't even need it. <laughs> a lint roller. So it's great when your lint roller is near the end. It's perfect to use it. So you're yeah. gonna use your lint roller, and then we're gonna get some craft foam, which is really easy to find. You can actually even, I've reused foam that I've gotten packaging in. Oh, It's just smart. a little foam, it's easy to do. So what you're gonna do is draw out any shape you want. You yeah. can see here I drew out some little Christmas trees. Cute. You can do some little stars. And then you're gonna take some really sharp scissors, and you're just gonna cut them out until you get a variety of little cute little trees. Very nice. So cute. I've got stars on I my end. I gave you stars. So all you're going to do, because there's still some sticky value yeah. to this lint roller, if you don't have it, you can use some hot glue on it, and you just slowly start sticking your forest or your stars all the way around your little lint roller. Mm -hmm. And the advantage of this is we're going to put it on an ink pad, and then you just roll it across your paper. Oh, that's so smart. So, you can so you're it making couple basically your own stamp. Yeah, you're making your own stamp. So here's one that's been done and I've used. You're just mm -hmm. gonna, you can use either paint or an ink pad, mm -hmm. and you can roll it on. I like to kind of dab it on just so you know you're really getting it on each one. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get it on each one before we do this, but we're going to attempt. Let's try. And then you're literally, I'm doing it upside down, just going to roll across. Oh, that's cool. So you can see a few little upside down trees. Yeah. Or if you'd like them right side up with the magic of TV. Look at that. <laughs> a beautiful forest. And I love that it's imperfect. Me it's too. nice that it's just sort of like a variety of colors because it's a forest. It's nature. It's not perfect, right? That's right. And then when you wrap it up, I always say, always think about your extra packaging as well. I use some twine, which you can throw in the green bin, mm -hmm. some little clippings I took off on my own tree that I to trim for the season yeah. and a pine cone so like an uh, for some brown paper tags because all this can be recycled yes. versus adding on a plastic tag to your eco-friendly gifting yeah right? exactly make sure everything is eco-friendly and if you're in a condo just go to the closest house and go forage in their backyard tell don't, them tracy sent you <laughs> don't tell them my secrets <laughs> So if you Your don't want to stamp, my yeah. next one is actually sort of doodling, graffiti style. Ooh. I'm going to give you a pre-wrapped box. Oh, thank you. This one's really easy. You're just going to grab either yeah. some great, do you remember this from a kid, puppy paint? Yes, I have it now because of my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> or you can also use some paint markers and you're literally just going to doodle. Like you can see I doodled names, I doodled little trees. It's really whatever you want to do and the trick I've learned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was intentional. It was. The trick I've learned is the more doodling, the cooler it looks. So just keep adding more and more layers. Yes. Have a glass of wine. It's actually really relaxing just to sit there and draw. I mean, you could do abstract. This is very abstract. I don't know who this it's is going to. $1 million. Dollars. Mr. Squiggle Face is getting this gift. It's a gorgeous piece of art. <laughs> very nice. And so that's going to dry and it's going to yeah, dry it, puffy. Yeah, it'll dry puffy. Let it dry a couple hours. Overnight's even better. Before yeah. you stick it under the tree, it'll stick to everything else. Nice. I love these ideas. And all with craft paper. Okay, so you've got another one. So this one, I don't know if you're... You, but I, if you, if you're me, you've got actually quite a few of these paint chips lying around I your house. I actually do. From past projects. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I like this color right here. It's That's good for pretty. nails. <laughs> and then what I've done is I've actually traced a little stencil and made mini Christmas lights. Oh, those are cute. So it makes these really pretty two-tone little Christmas lights in any shade you want. So you can do every color. Yeah. And there are two options you can do with this. You can either do it on twine, mm -hmm. or I'm going to give you another box trace. Da -da -da -da. Oh my gosh, another gift. You can see this one. I actually just stuck on all the little ornaments wherever I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And then you can use your paint pen and just connect it. Squiggle around, connect it. It's kind of fun. So your sort of light garland goes all over the box. And then you've got a perfectly eco-friendly gift because all of it can be recycled at the end. I just wanted an excuse to use the glue gun. I know. Go and I on. made sure to give you a big glue gun because this is when size matters. Glue guns. <laughs> it always matters for a glue gun. It really does. Okay. So Finally. The, last but not least. Yeah. Our little sort of like. Little I would pouches. Call it little pouches. So it's like hand-sewn paper. So the trick to this is actually to use 
recycled paper bags. Right, and make sure it's not the one with the big burger grease on it. And if it is, you can turn it inside out, hide the yeah. grease. What's great with these is they're actually slightly thicker than the other paper, so it's True. easier to sew through. So what yeah. I did is I cut out two little heart shapes. Mm -hmm. Then you're just going to thread a needle. I would always picture the oh, larger and brighter needle. We? And then we're going to sew, because I know you love to sew, Trace. You sure did this do. one ahead of time for me. You did oh, a great job. Look at Beautiful how work. well I did. I know. <laughs> so then what's the secret of this is you're actually going to stuff it. And I stuffed it with a little crinkle paper. Oh, cute. So you stuff it with your crinkle paper. You put your gift inside. Don't forget to put your gift inside. Yes. <laughs> and then sew it up. And then I think if you open the black heart, there may be a surprise inside for it's you. It's heavy. It's really fun. I think if you, yeah, do your nails. The nails are perfect for this. It's fun because you can rip open to it. It's like your heart's bursting with extra love for the person you're Where's gifting. Where's the wine? Where's the wine? No wine. Oh, it's even Ooh, better. Jewels. <gasps> Gorgeous, Not eco-friendly, but beautiful. Well, they are if you thrifted <laughs> them. Look at all this bling. These are fantastic ways to wrap without wasting. So good, Christian. You can find the steps for his eco-friendly wrapping ideas up on our website. That is cityline.tv.